What's up, everyone? Dust Bunny Manager here from Slackers to Cover, and we're back with the Rogues of Pocket. Pocket Rogues. Ready to rock and roll with the Necromancer once again. Perhaps we'll get a little bit further in the Secret Cathedral, unlock further abilities and whatnot. What is our daily quest for today? Kill five creatures of class undead, reach the third floor of the location at a Mantite Garden, and find three meat. Pretty sure that'll be pretty easy. Alright, let's go. I don't think there's anything we can aptly afford for 2307. Well, I'm training a camp that uh, increases our warrior abilities. It needs to be looked at. Actually, we have just enough to increase our HP. Just, just enough? Just enough, right? Yep, just enough. Let's... Let's go ahead and take just enough for that HP increase and move her on out. Necromancer time. We have the. Let's make sure that this is selected. This is the one we unlocked last time. The Cursed Soul, the Corrupted Essence, escaping from the Necromancer staff, pursues the immediate target, so essentially it's a homing shot. Let's use the Sea of Dead. Uh, each enemy killed in the area, the seal returns to the form of his shadow to fight alongside the necromancer. That sounds great, because it seems like whatever level gets killed in there is going to come back that level, since it doesn't say a level. Difference other than shadows lose their health every second. And we're going to do the summon skeleton archer. Because these guys are great, they, they do attack pretty hard, but they have no HP. They die so fast. So, so fast. So if these guys are doing range damage, then maybe they're going to live a little bit longer. Let's see. Is there anything we hook ourselves up? We, we got enough uh, gems. Let's let's go ahead and give ourselves something good. Let's start off with uh, start off with a wizard wand. Go ahead and give ourselves a... Uh, mm, yeah, let's do damage increase. Bam. Uh, we've got two more starts of this. Old hat. Yeah, let's go ahead and just move up to better hats and... Shoot, yeah, let's just give us the full nine yards here. Cloak two. Uh, yeah, let's do a cloak just because it's 3% movement speed. Let us move a little bit faster around. That could prove important. Well, let's head out. So we need three to get to the third floor in the Adamantite Garden, which is all the way down here. I don't think we're leveled up enough for that at all. Like, at all at all? So, let's do... Hmm, should we do a Crypt of Emptiness or a Crypt a Catacombs? Was it a quest needed? Undead Creatures. Catacombs had undead creatures. So let's do that. Uh, I believe we can go to... Location. And if we do next here, we should start at Floor 1 instead of Floor 5. Here we go, level one. So how does this work out? They, d does it actually like home down? Ooh, that's kind of cool actually. Yeah, yeah, it homes in. Wow, that's nice. So that means if I'm a little bit off on my straight shots, it it'll just get sucked right in to where it needs to go. Oh my gosh, that's what's the Okay, so it's got a little bit of a... It's got to be within a certain range before it gets home then. I'm okay with that. Get a couple archers out. You guys are gonna... How many archers can I have? I have one archer, that's it. That's okay, we'll, we'll upgrade it. We'll update it. We'll do all that fancy stuff with it. Still only 19 HP even with all the increases we've had. We need more HP increases. Uh, for this class, for, for every other class, Berserker included, it's, it just, it's important. Oh my gosh, we get a recipe for candy? Wowzers, you know how good that is? I, I'm not sure if the Halloween stuff is going to fade at some point. It, it very well may, because I mean, it's, it's Halloween stuff. But the candy gives us experience increase, so... Being able to craft that on our own post the event is fantastic. Also, might I just uh, just point this out already? 
this is hitting for an AOE explosion damage. Like, that's big. It's, it's hitting damage from a distance, too, when it explodes. This may very well be the best... best uh, left-click attack that this class has. At least one that I've seen so far, the best one I've played with. Okay, so we haven't really played with the this yet. Let's do that. Let's kill some mobs in here. Get their shadows. Their shadows appear to get to get the same skills that they have. What is attacking me? Oh, I'm just poisoned. All right, man. Okay, uh, man alive. That's that, that's just great. They gotta be real close. Eh, they gotta be at least touching. It. Also, it seems the shadows actually, despite them being, you know, shadows, they have, like, mass. Like, they, they body block you a little bit. I can't, can't go through this. And despite that little slime guy getting turned into one of the shadows to fight for us, his slime puddle still hurt myself and the shadow's life force. So, yeah, we're going to have to watch out for that. Alright, where's the exit? Exit, where are you? So how's everyone doing today? Now we're getting back into the swing of things with a casual playthrough of ARPG goodness. Let's see, last night, last night we did a heck of a stream of Fallout 76, the last Fallout 76 beta before the game launches on Feb February, November 14th, I believe. 13th, one of the two. I keep finding different uh, information on that. On the, on the official Bethesda page, it says 14th, but then I've seen other websites quoted at 13th, so maybe no one's 100% sure at this point. Maybe the information has changed and Bethesda's running off the new information, or maybe they're running off the old information. I don't know. But yeah, we played it for. Quite a while. I, it was originally supposed to be just four hours, and it got extended out for like nine hours. And we were there pretty much the entire time. Even even Charburger and Clunkin' Ducks got in on it since um, pre-order people were able to get extra beta key invites and hand it out to friends. And oh man, just all four of us playing the game. It was fantastic. A lot of fun, uh, despite the performance issues that the game seems to have. Uh, hopefully those will be looked at and worked on a little bit before the game comes out, because those could be hard hard sells otherwise. People just don't want the game to stutter down to like 10 FPS, which, you know what, I can't blame them. Some areas, some uh, public events, it was absolutely just disgusting in a horrible way. Just eh, mm, eh, or, eh, bad. And, um, you know, later on when you want to stream and you want to do big stuff, big builds, that kind of thing, it, it, having a, a game that's running well is it just imperative. You have to. Absolutely, positively have to. Wow, we are just mowing these guys down. Uh, two more to go. I'm not going to worry about those and just move on to the next floor. Pumpkin, get out of my way, pumpkin. Candy! Oh, baby, we got candy. Experience gain, increase 50% for 60 seconds. Let's pop it. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh, apparently my, um, my archer man died at some point. That's okay. Get another one out here. It's fine. Ah, work. More shadow people. Oh, we got a robe of a priest. You know, I I know I took cloak over robe earlier, but this one having benefits on it. Yeah, we're alive. Myself and all companions receive a small bonus to HP regen. That is 
fantastic as a necromancer. Because it's just going to benefit us, benefit me, benefit them, benefit everybody. We can kick butt and take names and go to town. Yes. Yes, all the butt kicking. Clear out the inventory just a little bit. Nah, let's just head on. Keep heading on. Five, we should start seeing. Oh, well, there's a better hat already. What is this? Protection from demons increased by 20% and increased defense. Nice. Sold. Destroy. Should start seeing better grade equipment dropping. And, you know, as I said that, I was trying the, in the middle of saying that. It happened. It happened for us. That's right. Give us your loot, sir. Get oh my gosh, they're, they're pushing me to mobs. Guys, could, could we not? Could, could we all? Could we all get along for a moment? There was a lot of glowy stuff there. I'm not entirely sure what I just saw. I don't know, poison. Okay, what do we get here? We got here. We got uh, just normal junks. There was just a lot of things in one place. I think that's all it was. Get this a gate out of the way. I haven't unlocked the ability to see merchants yet, so might as well just dump these two. Uh, pop this sucker for 60 seconds. We got we got all sorts of powers. Moving on out. No reason to hang around for too long. See, this, this is brilliant. Drop a seal, back on up, back on up, back on up, and just let, let it just go home. I need a heal. Oh, mana. That's unfortunate. Ooh, so much poison. I don't like the catacombs for the poison. There's so much of it. Oh, that guy. Oh, doggy. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, heal up. ASAP Arino. Let's do this. Let's do some mana. Do some HP. Do a damage boost. Okay. We have a gold mod. Oh, he did already. See, that would be something worthwhile to level up. The, the whole spell ability. Because getting a, a high level gold enemy on our team for a short time. Just, I mean. Who doesn't want powerful friends, am I right? Oh my gosh. So, my assessment on these archers being better than the skeletal guys is true. But they seem to still want to get in melee range for a lot of mobs, and that's not good. At least they do actually do damage before they go down. Okay, I need to run. I need to run. I need to run. Attack from back here and just let my my homing shots do what they gotta do. Yeah, that little guy is surviving for a while. I mean, 
I thoroughly approve. He's not even that leveled up. He's only level three. And he's living quite a long time. Get some shades over here. Oh, he did not die in rage. bit harder to get that uh, that properly set up in it. Stop coming after me. Go fight things. Jeez, guys. Wait. That was weird, so the shade exploded into the little ones like the big ones do. So he wasn't shadowed, but he didn't attack me. Fusing? A little bit. <sighs> so yeah, going back to uh, what we were talking about before, the uh, the whole Fall 76, I, I'm excited for it. I mean, performance issues aside, I, I hope the rest of the slackers Go for it. I, I hope it, it gets cleaned up enough to where even like Charlie won't complain about it. And I, I'm not saying Charlie complains about things. He just has high expectations, especially for Bethesda games. You have a with a game that's come out with such like hits as the other Fallout, uh, Skyrim, that sort of thing. You, you really want there's got to be just certain a standard that's got to be set, it's got to be met with the way that you can interact and play with the world without so much issues. And there is a lot of issues right now with 76. Despite it being really fun, especially in a group, it's just not something that you think you can play and persistently play for a long time. And it's a really unfortunate right now. So hopefully the build that was going on there will get cleaned up and fixed, because otherwise it's going to be real hard. I mean, I'll play through it. I'm pretty sure Mad Dog is willing to play through it, uh, as well as some of our other uh, colleagues, but it's a hard sell to get everybody to jump on board with that. So that is coming out, uh, right around the corner we got Arc Extinction. Just, just on the verge, man. It's just on the brink of coming out. There's everyone around here is excited for that as well. Oh my gosh, I got, I, I got done, exploded. Holy moly. Not even that much money. That's unfortunate, but not unexpected. Uh, excuse me. I had a quest to get to f floor three of um, Adamantite. Why, why do I have two for meat? Are they? Okay, so it, it, it was just a, a little momentary glitch. <laughs> I was about to say, hey, I, I could totally do that. I, I'm actually really surprised I didn't get the three meat already. But we've got not enough for that. Wow, I really thought we did. We have enough for that, though. Which is damage, 3200 for damage. Can up the HP once more. That's not a necessarily bad thing. MP increase. Yes, we're, we're going to take two upgrades of that. MP increase is imperative for all of our ranged users and honestly a couple of our, our melee users as well. Just the ability to use your strong attacks is just crazy important. Uh, let's see, Necromancer, can we go beyond, above and beyond this? Probably. Mm, seven points. Now, this was great. One projectile. The fact that it says one projectile makes me think we get two projectiles later on. Two projectiles at a time with that homing stuff, the amount of damage it does, it would be crazy. Now, so this goes one second increase per and increase lifetime by 2%. Might be really good later on, but it's going to be quite a few levels before you can see any visual difference. Um, what is that? That's the one that actually heals us and our allies on kill. That's true. Um, now, zombie. So, skeletons are the fragile but high damage creatures, but they're melee. These guys are long range, 
medium damage. What are these guys? Someone's a zombie, extremely unconclusive and extremely durable melee fighters capable of withstanding a lot of strikes. And more of them are not required. So does this mean it's essentially this is a high damage go in there, just stab, 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 die. You gotta summon them pretty often. This guy that you don't wanna summon that often, but he does do damage, but he'll 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 upset an enemy at some point. This is more of our tank. I like the idea of a tank class. I, I'm gonna pick one up real quick. Um, go ahead and make sure that's selected as well. Two points. The level of summon creatures is equal to the skill level. One zombie, so maybe we can get multiple zombies of that. We only have so many points. I, I, I feel like you would be best used increasing our cursed soul. Yeah, still it's 9% damage. Still one projectile. Okay, well, like, excuse me, now it's 9% damage. Next, that next level thing throws me off every ding, ding dong time. Alright, so projectiles. So we can start off with things now. That way we have more recipes. Quite a few recipes. Oh yeah, we can't get skill points. I've totally forgotten about that. 800 for uh, one skill point. That's expensive as all get out. But Potion of Oblivion, reset, restore our skills. Candy's only seven, and honestly, I don't think that's too bad. I mean, it just gives us the one, right? We'd have to buy like a second or a third or a fourth, right? Okay, so maybe seven's a little bit much for something. Um. Necromancers, we have the one point left. We could just throw it in here. Why not? Golem gets a little bit of attack speed increase. Nothing major. Still no major upgrades. We oh, actually, we can. We can upgrade to a rare hat. Defense plus 15. Anything else down the line that we've got? No, because we haven't gone that far with any of our casters. Alright, then let's actually... Instead of doing an endless one, because the endless one seems to get really, really hard very quickly, let's actually just start at the very beginning of story-based missionary. Uh, missionary. <laughs> Sorry. Story-based missions, catacombs going down here. That way, it, it, it levels up as we progress. We'll fight a couple bosses. That'll give us more experience, more money, so forth and so on. So let's go. I am really digging this class. Hey, look, another candy. You know you're worth seven gems? Just letting you know. So I can have... I only have one zombie. But... My idea, though, is maybe... If I can get a zombie to hang out, and just... Wow. Survived for quite a while. Get a zombie to hang out and keep somebody on the seal. That means we can get more shadow puppies. More shadow puppies equals more allies and friends to do horrible things to horrible people with. Frog leg and a grimrar. Grimrar. He's a level one zombie, so chances are he's gonna die real fast. Oh, we got a magic hat, a magic hat, a magic hat of priest, which is the aura gain one. That's good. Man, the the tracking, the tracking. Chunk them down there and watch them die. Goes on rad. Everyone's dead except me. Yeah, unfortunately that zombie is not that great right now. What do you want? Mercenary archer, way out of my price range. And from experience, those mercenaries are bad. Like real bad. I don't know if they get damage bonuses or something based on our bonuses and we're just lacking on passive skills, but 
they're real bad. Wait, it, it, it is an apprentice stick, but it's got a set of special power on it. Each blow gradually poisons the target. Look, I, I know it's it's more decreases speed, and you lose crit, and you lose a little bit of damage, but that poison, that poison on, on strong enemies could be awesome. You know me, I like awesome stuff. I like awesome stuff a lot. Zombie, he is tanky, ain't he? Level four, which means we're coming across boss time real soon. Real bad. Okay, experience boost still up. So many arrows in your back there, Golem. So many arrows in your back. What if there's enough mobs to get uh, one more level up in here? See, if you can get a couple shadow people going, the ball just starts rolling with how fast you can clear things out. But mm, I wish that when you right clicked and you put this down, that it would go where you clicked it. Like, so I could put it like. Over here in the distance. I don't really like the idea of having it put it on top of me because I'm not really a melee class, I'm a ranged class. And putting it right on top of me is just, it's really awkward. Tankiness. Oh boy, have fun. There's so many mobs to get out of my way. Hey, Ether Gaming, your shadows shouldn't be body blocking you. It's awkward. Shadows don't have legs. Oh, there's something cool there. 
don't kill me. Oh, I don't have anything to heal up, do I? I have a little bit of meat. Large stamina to conquer. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. Oh, and I'm poisoned. Of course. It's gonna be awkward for the boss. That's the one that, uh, we take damage, you restore MP, and since we're using a basic rope, then we can totally use this one. It's, it's not really gonna help us too, too much, because we, of all people, really don't want to get hit. But, I mean, getting some sort of benefit out of when we do get hit isn't necessarily a bad thing. I know, Wizards want us stronger. We've got this poison ability, which might actually help us against the upcoming boss, which, by the way, we don't have any healing items. We don't have any healing items, so we're about to fight the boss. I think this may be the first time that I'm going to have to run around and actually grab healing items in the arena. Actually, use the ability to my advantage. Should never have to actually get no close to this guy. Run away! Can't make a giant boss shadow. As fun it would as it would be, but I can't. Call it a grindstone. A little bit of HP here and there. Something good up. Come on, something good. I mean, it's worth money if I die. That's always a good thing. Oh my gosh. Just checking one quick thing real quick. Abandoned prison, here we are. Don't know how we're gonna fare. Give it a shot, we got mini like goblins. Zombies. I 
guess the guy, uh, the zombie's not too bad. We let him go in first. Then essentially, he become he body blocks things as we fire shots at him. Wow, how much absolute junk do we have? Willow wand. I haven't seen a willow wand before. That speed increase, though, that actually may be genuinely enough to outplay poison, which I'll, I'll take. I'll, I'll go ahead and get rid of this sucker. To hang on to that for when I die. 157 gold is nothing to scoff about. Get rid of a couple of the junks in here. Hey, junks later, junks, bad junks. Mog stick, monk stick, two to three. It's not bad, but it's no one to four. Ah, uh, the speed damage though. Speed damage is so bad on that. Better defense, slower speed, but then we don't have the eclectism, uh, a, 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 a catism, which doesn't really help us out. Be it, but. He's still fun to be like, oh yeah, yeah, we, we got a special item. I remember the first time I played this game. The first time I played this game. I actually got an epic item to drop. I haven't seen an epic item since. I don't know if I just... Just, just pure happenstance of chance stand kind of thing. Oh wait, what is this? Increase damage at max MP, but reduce the max HP. Increase the damage of summon creatures by 5% as well. How much HP are we saying we're dropping here? Because we're already in... In the Bandit Prison area, we're pretty much get hit once, die. With 19 HP. So we're talking about, like, a decent... We're down to 9. Well, I mean, if we're going to get hit by one... Uh, killed in one shot, then we might as well go big or go home, right? That's how you play out here, you play for keeps. Hey, you got a quest done. Nice. Excuse me? I don't know why that does, uh, like an exploding animation. Oh my god, no! Eh? I got candy. I got a little bit of candy. Let's go ahead and use that candy. You never know when we're gonna die. Let's just get what experience we can. Kill the zombie! Kill the zombie! Real close to another level up. Should be real close to a couple level ups, but okay. Matt, say, I think it said map and banana, and I thought it said Batman for a second. But all right, let's We've got a minion. Let's cheese this a little bit. That's right, that's what I want to see. We're a necromancer, we, we're allowed to play dirty. Necromancers don't play nice, they pull stuff out of the ground to make them their their undead, unholy minions. So why should we be like, we're, we're gonna fight things up close in fair? Nope. We are gonna swing for the fences and launch stuff from a distance. Especially we got 9 HP. We, really gotta play with our strengths here. Alright. Man, that uh, actually ripped through that goblin dude pretty fast. 
Any more uh, allies way down there that we're getting stuff for? Heard some explosions like things were getting hit, but. Anything special here? Iron helmet, armor helmet, wooden helmet. Yeah, we got a couple things here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you like me now? Mobbies. What do we got? Many, many mobs in here. It's okay. With the power of homing missiles. I don't need to see what I'm killing. I'll just revive you later and take your loot. Wood helmet of heavenly protection. That is, uh, it's not going to be as good as what we got already. That's for sure. Just could destroy that. Destroy this. Seventy-three coins and no thank you. Get rid of those. Anything we don't have to fight up close and personal, I'm a happy man. Mm. Oh, he saw us already. That was fast. It hits, it hits. I think it's just a matter of learning how all these different classes play. I mean, honestly, uh, I like how we get experience just for the world killing that mob. But, like, the archer, we understand the archer. The archers shoot and run, shoot and run. That's just the archer. They, this class, with this particular skill set, it's gotta be play really defensively at really, really long, long range. Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't realize. Yeah, okay. See, what we got here? We got another gr grim, grimoire. The herm. Oh, it's got a, a catechism on it. That, what do you call that stuff? No. No, we actually don't need another one of those if we can get away from it. Prefer not to. If you could, uh... Get just a touch closer, I'd appreciate it. There we go. And there's a prize, friendo. There we go. What did we just pick up, though? Something fancy? It's got, it's got thorns on it. Mm, that's not gonna help us out that much. Had a power. We got, we got. We're alive. We're alive. Beats that into the ground. And Thorns reflects part of the damage received. I'm not convinced if that's for minions as well, but let's be honest, our, our zombies died in a couple of hits, so it's not going to help us out that much. Bashers can be killed countless times. I don't know what it said. I think it said bosses can be killed countless times, and every time they get killed, they get stronger. That would make sense with, um... Why our slime friend was like my gosh. Did we clear that room out? We did not. Oh my gosh, you're still coming at me and 
goodness for AOE explosions. Whoa! That almost hurt. Okay, I don't like the idea that I'm gonna have to... Protect me, zombie friend. Wait, I didn't realize that my shots can actually block those. That's that's great. Oh my gosh, enemies! I didn't see him. I got him, right? Oh, it goes to the ghost. Of course it does. It's a ghost. Oh god, he one shot him. Go! Run away! Okay. Oh, I got any mana. Here. Give me a little bit of room. Give me a little bit of room. My gosh, that was close. Woo. Okay, so direct shots can actually stop the, sh the, the shots from those auto auto turrets. So. That's good to know. That's really good to know, considering, yeah, I mean, like, the current thing. They, those are a pain in the butt talks. Absolute pain. Uh, yeah, that's it. Let's just get that out of here. Get out of here! We don't need your junk. What are you, wooden stick? Yeah, you're... <laughs> wooden stick, not an upgrade. Definitely. Back this way. I need to keep firing to get through. Anything fancy? No. Let's get out of here. Alright. Uh, might be something on this bench. No. Just junk. Old level junk at that rate. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be ballsy. We're just gonna go for it. I really wanna. Oh man. That guy to the left over there, you see him at the top? He's something special. I can guarantee it, he's something special because look at the size of him. He's out of my range slightly. I don't have choice, I'm gonna have to just keep tagging. Yeah, mighty wandering troll. Okay, that guy's dead. That guy's so dead. Kill him! No! If he hits me once, I'm so gone. I don't know. What do you guys think? Think I'm good? Huh? Go, my friend. Gosh, level 27 heart goblin executioner. Are you insane? That didn't slow him down. That didn't slow him down at all. Save me from the everything. 
Wow, that experience though. And the gold. 25 gold from one mob is is a lot. Alright. Nobody dropped anything of interest. Nope. You guys are cheapskates. On the nth level. Oh my gosh. Guys, I, I'll... If, of all the people who should have had anything, you guys really should have had something. Zombie, 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 zombie. If you could, please. I knew you are just going to die. I, I, I think that's why you didn't run in there to help. I don't know how we're still alive at this point with 9 inch. Yeah, they, they hurt us. Yeah, I don't know how we're alive with just 9 HP. I really don't. Because we're, we're, we're living on a prayer and a dream and a wish at this point. One, one hit. Now, we did actually survive one hit. That means we don't to go. But, I, I don't even know how. So we should have died. Easily, easily, easily. I need a chest. Come on, I need. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Same old junk we've been getting. But what is this? What is this? Excuse me? Some of the creatures explode on destruction? That sounds really cool. I wonder how much they explode for. And, and honestly, does it count for shadow creatures too? I don't know. I really don't know. Let's clear out some inventory real quick. Fire, fire, spray, spray in this alley. Okay. Zombie! You should have run point for a second. No! He killed us by point seven. Oh, that's painful. But look at those coins. Nice. That's a nice, nice get there. Nice get. We got enough to increase by one. Definitely get us up to level five, level six, level five. The fact that it always says next, like I've said, confuses me to no end. Get a hundred gold out of that too. Eleven points. Hmm. So. Zombie I'm not so happy with at all. I think if investing points in summon skeleton might actually be a better option or the range user. I like the idea of seal on death. It can be really powerful but it's really awkward to, to use just for the sake of when you're running screaming you don't really have time to drop it and then if anything gets on top of you you can't prevent them from hurting you or killing you with 19 HP. Again, going back to the idea that we need to get more HP investment into our building, uh, in our base, but that's going to have to be for at a later time, because right now we need to upgrade all of our passes. Just our basic skills and abilities need to be increased. Uh, so far, Cursed Soul is just incredibly powerful. Like, really, really powerful. So, I think this is well worth just taking all of our money. Now, this one, Breath of Death, is a stream of Otherworldly Flame really close melee is what it sounds like. Now, I do like the idea if the Necromancer is wounded, his health will be increased for every tick of damage. So, it does do damage and heal us at the same time, but some of these mobs are hitting just so hard, I don't know if that'll help that much. So, let's up this. 
this up in full the way. Plus 18% damage. Increase to the next base increase. Two points means we can increase uh, this to a full eight seconds and 4% lifetime. Yeah, the, what, what did we get? We got a new consumable that was just more mana stuff we could get? Yeah, I think it was the large stamina decoction. Nice, maybe we'll get enough. Is it worth 800 gems to get 10 skill points? Maybe? I mean, I think what, what this is really pointing towards is if you're leveling up on, say, say you play the archer a lot and you get a whole lot of gems playing in-game stuff, then you can go over here to like a new character and go, yeah, 800 gems, here's 10 skill points, 10 skill points, 10 skill points, and just really power level one of your characters. That's what it feels like for me. Which we may end up doing very well. Um, we've been using gems just to give starter equipment for our characters, but we are starting to get more gems than what we're actually using, which is cool. So, yeah, uh, next time, next time, we're starting back over, back at the top, back to Warrior, moving our way back down again. May play a little bit more off off camera just to power level the warrior up to speed since he's he's fallen behind a great deal by the others. And at least get some gems and some other stuff under my belt so we can use for more upgrading a little bit faster. So this is Dust Bunny. This is Pocket Rogues from Ether Gaming. And I will see you folks later. Per usual, information in the description below. If you like what you saw, want to see more, like and slap the like button and subscribe. Share the video, expand the Slackers universe. I'll check you guys out later. See ya underground. Bye. <laughs>